Welcome to my home. I'm Terry Moose Butler and this is Moosin' Around the Kitchen. We're going to do a two-part episode in celebration of Valentine's Day. The meal, a London broil with chocolate mousse for dessert. So tonight we're just going to do the first couple of stages of preparation and then tomorrow night we'll do the cooking. But hopefully this is something you're going to love to cook for your loved ones. Alright, let's get cooking. All right, while well, we're about ready to get going here, we'll go over the ingredients here in just a moment. Uh, but one of the things I wanted to talk about today are the ABCs of the kitchen, which is always be cooking. So I have my boys here tonight, so I'm just doing something really simple for them while I get this marinade prepared for the London broil that I'm going to cook. Right now, we're just doing some sausage. And I'm just frying that up, some Italian style sausage. We're gonna do brown rice and some vegetables. Just keep it really simple for tonight's dinner for the boys. Which brings me to another thing, being is that we're coming up to Valentine's Day. We have our office chili cook-off and three years running champion with my Italian style chili, which I did in one of my earlier episodes. So we're going to get that ready tomorrow while I'm cooking the London broil. So um, we will get these ingredients. I'll show you everything that will go into the marinade and everything that will go into the chocolate mousse. And then we will get that prepared so you can have those steps ready for tomorrow night. All right, here's everything that's going to go into our marinade for the London broil and the London broil meat itself. You can see we just have a top round. That is the recommended cut of meat. We're gonna do lemon juice, olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, some black pepper, some salt, of course, garlic, and then brown sugar. All right, we'll get this ready to roll and we'll tenderize the meat next. All right, our next step here is gonna be tenderizing the meat for our Valentine's Day meal. Speaking of Valentine's, I've got my favorite Valentine right there making his Valentine's for school. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at uh, how we're going to do this. Now, we don't really need to do too much to it. It's just going to be a good couple of wax. Oh, back up, bud. I don't want you to get hurt. How about this? What is that, Dad? This is a meat mat. Really, it doesn't take too much. The marinade is really what we're going to rely on for doing most of the tenderizing, as we're going to let it marinate overnight. So next, we're going to take a look at how I put this marinade together, and then we'll move on to the chocolate mousse. All right, next here, we're going to make the marinade, and we'll just take a look here. So um, one thing you can do is start out by just putting salt and pepper on your cut of meat. There's going to be aggressive pepper here. But I do love my pepper. Okay, so we got the meats uh, salted. Now, I already have two tablespoons of brown sugar into here, and we're going to put in a quarter cup of olive oil. And then the recipe calls for four, four cloves of garlic. I'm just going to scoop in a couple good hefty scoops. Again, with me, I love garlic, so do garlic to your own taste. Then, this also is going to call for one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. And this Worcestershire gives it really good flavor. And then last but not least is the lemon juice. Now the recipe calls for half a lemon's worth of juice. It's the lemon juice that really breaks down the proteins and softens up the meat. So I just do about two ounces or I eyeball it and that's about how much we're going to use. You're going to stir up this mixture and then you want to place the meat into a bag. So I just have these gallon freezer bags. We'll mix this all up. We'll place the meat into the bag 
and then we'll let it sit overnight. So it's going to be about 24 hours that it's sitting in this mixture. And uh, something else you can do too if you want, you can just kind of poke the meat a little bit. That will help some of the flavor absorb. And then um, something else to think about too for this meal, because it's going to be, or you're going to want it to be a romantic meal, is how are you going to pair it? Uh, what are you going to drink with this meal? Um, if you're not an alcoholic, uh, I don't have any suggestions for you. But um, if you're a beer person, um, a, a nice malty beer is going to be good with this dinner. If you're a wine person, my suggestion is a Cabernet Sauvignon. So we'll get this mixed up. We'll throw the meat and this marinade into a bag. We'll let it sit for 24 hours, and then we'll cook that tomorrow. And next we're going to go ahead and move on to the chocolate mousse. And of course, it's got to be mousse. All right, so for the ingredients for tonight's chocolate mousse, we're going to need three tablespoons of the butter, six ounces of that semi-sweet chocolate there on the end. We're going to use three eggs. We'll split the whites and the yolks, a half teaspoon of the cream of tartar, a quarter cup of sugar, there will be uh, two tablespoons of sugar for another portion of the recipe, a half cup of heavy whipping cream, and then a half teaspoon of the vanilla. I really strongly suggest that you use a pure vanilla as opposed to something that is the imitation, but the pure vanilla extract is my favorite choice. And then the, the cocoa there and the white chocolate is gonna be used as part of the decoration for the final product. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the chocolate mousse, and this is gonna require a lot of little steps here and there, so just bear with me. Uh, but our next step is we're gonna take this chocolate and uh, break it up into small pieces. Uh, it's just the these chocolates here. And we're gonna microwave these. I'm not a big fan of microwaving anything, really, uh, unless I absolutely have to, but just for the recipe that I saw, I'm just gonna follow it uh, step by step. So we're gonna melt this chocolate and the butter uh, at about uh, 20 second intervals. So I'm just going to take a look here what we've got going on. And we're going to melt this chocolate until it's about 75% melted and then we'll move on to the next step. And honestly it is uh, hard to look at this chocolate and not just take a little bite. All right, now the next step, after we've melted the chocolate, we're gonna go ahead and add in the egg yolks. Now, it took me about three or four cycles to melt this chocolate, uh, but one thing I do wanna mention is uh, if you're doing any chocolate melting for Valentine's Day or for any reason, um, you really wanna avoid contact with water because water's gonna make the chocolate uh, solid. And basically at that point, it's unmeltable. So we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna add uh, about one egg yolk and we're just going to fold it in and we want to do one at a time until it's all mixed in and then after I finish this step we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Alright now that we have the egg yolks folded into the chocolate we're going to move on to the next step and that's the egg whites and we're going to beat these egg whites just a little bit so bear with me with the sound. <laughs> So this is soft peaks. This is what we want with the uh, egg whites. So the next step now, we're just going to go ahead and mix in the, uh, the sugar, the quarter cup of sugar, and we'll beat that in gradually. And that right there, that's about perfect for that.
All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold in the egg, the egg whites into the chocolate. What I want you to do is pay close attention to how I'm doing the folding. We're not stirring, but you're folding it over itself. And then what we're really going here for is a nice even color so that we know that it's all mixed in. All right, now the next step here is we're just going to make the whipped cream portion of the chocolate mousse. So I'm just going to put in the, the cream and the remaining two teaspoons of sugar, and we'll beat that up until we have a nice thick cream. And we'll mix that cream in with the chocolate mousse that we have made so far. But we'll just take a quick look at what we're going to do here. This probably is one of the easiest steps. Um, I love making fresh homemade whipped cream. There's nothing like it at all. It's just absolutely the best. All right, and with the whipped cream, then we're getting it to a stiff peak. And let's take a look at that here real quick. So you can see that it's, it's firm. So now we're going to go ahead and mix this in with this. And that'll pretty much wrap things up. We're, but we're going to fold it in all together. So we'll take this puppy out. And fold in the cream. All right, that just about wraps up part one of two episodes for our Valentine's Day dinner. Now the Meat in the marinade is ready to go in the refrigerator. That'll be overnight. And then we also have the chocolate mousse, which will go in the refrigerator. This can sit for two hours or overnight, whatever. It actually will be good for up to four days, if you like. And the chocolate mousse, mm, it's really good. And I can't wait till you try this marinade for the, for the London broil. So I want to thank you for joining me for the first part of this episode. And I hope to see you tomorrow night where we will cook the meal. So if you like what you saw tonight, please like, subscribe, please share the video. And if you like what I made tonight, I would love to hear that you made this for your loved ones for Valentine's Day. All right, we'll see you tomorrow and happy cooking.